Welcome to our lecture online. In the last video, we claimed that it didn't matter where we put the couple, it would be off center from the center mass, and we could still see that there's going to be rotational motion with the center mass at the center of that rotational motion. But what if both of the forces of the couple are on one side of the center mass? Surely that does matter, and would you expect that the rotational motion of that object will be about its center of mass with both forces acting to the right of the center mass? Well, let's see if we can get to the bottom of this one. So, first of all, let's find the net torque in this case. So, we have two forces, one causing a positive uh, torque because it will cause this to move in a counterclockwise direction. This one will cause a negative torque because it will be in a negative clockwise or it will be in a clockwise direction so therefore the net torque or the net moment will be equal to that force times this displacement or distance f times d minus this force times that distance f times d over 2 so that would be fd minus a half fd which is one half fd so we still have a positive torque it's one half one of the forces times the displacement or the distance from the center mass to that force right there. All right, so of course we should have an equivalent system and we can ensure that we have an equivalent system because we use the principle that we can take this force and move it to the location where it goes right through the center mass so it does not cause a torque and then add to that a couple which will have the same torque as the original torque of that force and so you can see that we're going to take that force on top move it to the center here and then we have a couple formed by these two forces and I'll go ahead and circle them with a dashed line there we go and so we can see that the torques must be the same for that top right force as I have here with this force and that particular couple so we know that the torque by definition is equal to the magnitude of one of the forces f over 2 times the distance between the two forces in the couple which is a d plus d that's a 2d 2d and so that would be equal to f times d so you can see that the torque caused by this force and that, that couple is exactly the same as the torque caused by this force it's a positive torque and it's f times d what about the bottom force again we'll move that to the center mass to the location where this the action goes right to center mass and then we add to that a couple which will, which will give us the same rotational motion now notice that this force will cause the object to rotate in a clockwise direction this couple will cause the object to rotate in a clockwise direction but does it have the same torque which let's find out so this is torque one this is torque two and that would be equal to the magnitude of one of the two forces which is f over two the times the total distance the total distance between the two would be d over two plus d over two or a complete d which is equal to one half f d but also since it causes a clockwise direction we know that it's going to be a negative torque now when we add the two together so the net torque is going to be torque one plus torque two which is going to be fd minus one half fd which is equal to fd or one half fd i should say and notice that that's exactly the same as what we had over here and so i've shown that those two systems are completely equivalent there's not going to be any motion in the y direction because there's no net force in the y direction there there's no net force in the y direction here the net torque in both systems are exactly the same which will give them the exact same angular acceleration so therefore you can see that we can take something like this where the two forces are offset on one side forming a couple the distance between the two and let's do one more uh, calculation notice now that the distance between these two is equal to d over 2 and so the torque caused by the couple I'll, I'll go t sub c is going to be equal to the magnitude of the force f times the distance between the two which is d over 2 and notice we get the same result one half fd and it's positive and it will cause a rotational motion about the center of mass even if the the couple is offset to one side of the center mass notice in all cases you get the exact same torque 
in all cases you get the exact same rotational motion and how do we know for sure that it'll be about the center mass because this is equivalent to this and notice that these are equidistant away from center mass these are equidistant away from center mass and these are right through the center mass they cost no torque so therefore we have a perfectly symmetric system causing this object to rotate about its center mass and since this is equivalent to this that couple will also cause the bar to rotate about its center mass and that's the amazing thing about couples there it is and that is how it's done